Hey kids, this is Ivan. I really should be leaving for work right now, but, you know, I've been thinking about this comment uh, since it was I read it this morning when I woke up, and so it's been spinning around in my head, so I figured I'd make a, a video about it. Um, on my uh, Essentialism and the Homunculus Effect video, uh, a, a uh, poster or a, a viewer, Sean O'Farrell, I believe I'm saying his name right, asked me a question about my opinion on the divide between uh, player skill and character skill in RPGs and how that affects the game. You know, classic example being like, let's say you come across a logic puzzle, solving the puzzle is not essential to the game, but may, you know, grant you some extra treasure. Do the players need to solve the problem, or their char can their character solve it for them? You know, can the 18 intelligence wizard, is he going to be better at solving this logic puzzle than the three intelligence barbarian, all that kind of stuff. So it's a perennial uh, question that comes up, and, and definitely one of those sticking points of the OSR. And this is not a video about OSR d and um, but he goes on to talk about the fact that, like, um, in, in, the, in Lamentations game where he's declared that, you know, it's player skill that, that uh, determines the outcome of this as opposed to character skill. Like in something like 5th edition D&D, um, he's actually enjoying it uh, more and, per, you know, preferring, despite the fact that he uh, comes from a, a more, you know, he's younger. <laughs> he uh, um, is, is starting to really prefer player skill based games. And I thought about this. I, I made a video... I knew I'd made something about a uh, VR to Chalice and Chains about uh, do skills uh, inhibit role play. I think I made that about uh, about a year ago. And if I have time, I'll try to link it here. If not, go find it. Um, but yeah, I, I thought about this more and more, and it, it made me smile as this question was specifically a comment on my Essentialism and the Homunculus Effect uh, video. Uh, because I've started to realize what my answer is now. Now, there's, there's that big, you know, perennial argument about uh, um, technically what are, what are player-facing mechanics and character-facing mechanics. In other words, you know, is the game master going to ask the players, "You need to solve this problem," um, as opposed to character-facing mechanics, where you look at the character's skill sheet or you know your character sheet and realize, okay, well, my guy, you know, is is really good at diplomacy, or my guy really sucks at diplomacy, or my guy is really good at solving like you know investigations, enigmas. Or, you know, my character has no real skill in that whatsoever. <laughs> He's going to be completely befuddled. And I talk a lot about in that other video about, like, how you frame things. And so I'm going to let that video stand on its own. Um, I, I certainly have changed my tune a little bit in terms of uh, becoming much more um, okay with and actually enjoying the idea that, you know, you, you filter all these things through who your character really is and the, the skills on their sheet and the, the abilities they, they have and what have you. And, of course, there's always that, that conundrum where if you're doing nothing but uh, player-facing mechanics or the players, it's based on player skill, you've got the really clever player uh, playing the stupid guy who has to be mature enough not to overplay his ability to solve problems. Or, probably worse, is the player just, you know, like if you put me in the seat and I have to solve some logic problems or do some diplomacy, I'm going to fail. I'm going to fail especially on the diplomacy because I'm just not very good at that in real life. And just, no matter what my character is, you know, it says on the sheet or what he's supposed to be, if it's just based on my own skill, not going to go really well. But that's not necessarily the direction I want to take with this. What I found my answer ended up being, or my, my, my thoughts, my reply, is that um, just like I talked about in that video on the homunculus effect, where we, uh, and I've, I've talked about in other videos, hey, it may have been in the last year, you know, we choose to focus our attention on certain aspects of the game, on certain aspects of the role-playing experience. And I found more and more over time, my prime agenda is to have this experience as the character. And the challenges, while well, I don't necessarily, you know, shy away from challenges in-game, that's not what I'm there for. I'm not there to, it, that's, that's not my primary intention or reason for playing is, is to solve challenges, to overcome obstacles, uh, you know, whether they be riddles or actual, you know, uh, let's see if we can kill all these orcs. It's fun sometimes, but that's not the main reason I'm there. So I care less about that aspect of the game. I'm more interested in the experience of being this particular character in this particular world. So, in essence, my game becomes a or my preferred style of play is a homunculus where that is exaggerated and solving challenges and riddles and puzzles and enigmas while they come up and they, they certainly come up in all for one they certainly come up in you know other games I, I'm, I'm playing that's less important and 
um, when it comes to things like you know where, where we're actually solving them, we have to use our wits, you know, our, our real, honest to God, you know, um, human wits to, to, to get our get our way through certain situations. I'd rather do that in character, so I'd rather have these discussions uh, in character amongst the characters, filtered through the the beliefs and the personalities of these characters as they're trying to figure out what the heck is going on in Paris, as opposed to us you know, completely yanking ourselves out of character and as players discussing and trying to figure out what the heck is going on here and trying to solve this riddle or this enigma. So it even comes down to like how I want to um, look at challenges and often you know it's, it's, a, it's a combination of you know my own wits and what's, what's on the character sheet or the character sheets but I like it in character. Somebody else who's really into solving challenges and puzzles and there's, there's a lot of them and there's nothing wrong with that you know, it may be much more important to them how this gets done. And so their game becomes a homunculus, in my eyes, where that part is exaggerated. So, I found it kind of interesting that that's where that comment landed. So, that's my answer. I'm not sure if you can, if I answer the question, but it's something that I, I care less about because it's not the primary intention, uh, or at least not my primary intention for why I'm there. So, that's the thought for the day. What do you think?